I've actually avoided all of these in my time here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will try this delicious. Well, lost. <laughs> I think it's smoked cheese. You should know that we also avoided it. <laughs> well, it smells like a yemless man's shoes, so. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> It's not that bad. Okay, wait, no. <laughs> You're <a little> weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. It just smells like hot old socks and feet. Oh, and it's kind of burning. <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. This is tilst. <laughs> Inside <old. laughs> Yeah. Care Gordon. Butter. Smell. It looks fancy. This is definitely better than the cheapest one that I normally buy. Oh, already opened and used. <laughs> That's when you know it's really good. Okay. Darling Farm butter. Hmm, good. That's really good. Hmm. We just put the, the camera on there so you could put it underneath. Put the what, sir? Oh, really? <laughs> okay. But well, you seem so eager, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna put some raw rubbers. <laughs> Are you sure? All right, <laughs> maybe raw. Oh, don't put it. It even says on it ingredients: eighty percent greasicle. So what is the other twenty percent? <laughs> we will find out. <laughs> this is how Danish people trick foreigners into eating raw sausages. Oh, it's fine. What do, you, what do you do? <laughs> what is this? Danish cuisine. <laughs> They're googling whether or not you need to cook it. <laughs> okay, you, yeah, you say. You're safe. Um, you got it one more time this way. It looks very raw inside. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, it's completely raw inside. Is that the color of a pusher that you want to eat? Okay, to cover the flavour. <laughs> Famous Danish Heinz ketchup. <laughs> mm. And this is a meal, apparently. This is something you would typically like, you know, put in your uh, child's lunchbox. Okay, if you hate your child. <laughs> <laughs> and then the burner hair staff open it, the mail packer, like, oh, okay. <laughs> Ring social services. <laughs> Okay, well, surprisingly, it tastes like raw sausages. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really bad. It's sort of in the middle. It's a round Odin, so. <laughs> Very hard to chew. <laughs> I think British children would eat this. Rasmus, is, it, is the colour ready? Yeah, it's fine. Should I finish the bush? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm gonna have to do the carry sill just because I'm not looking forward to it. I want to get it over with. Oh, there's a picture of a very sad looking fish <laughs> on, the, on the back. Here. Do I have to butter the bread? Uh, I don't think when it's wet, you necessarily have to butter it. Oh god, it's only if you're lying a raw sausage on it, don't yeah. you? <laughs> okay, the smell is very intense. So this was actually a suggestion from somebody online, so maybe they just hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Punish that immigrant guy. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. That's not good. <laughs> it has weird multiple layers of spiciness and fishiness and socks. <laughs> All mixed together. Did you eat socks before you came here? I guess still in your hand. 20% socks, okay, nice. I'm gonna put this this quite close to Banners, actually. It's gonna be in that, that. I'll dealing whole ball that area. I think next on the menu is this high, high quality first price 
Me cancel it. Which has like an extra, it looks like a pudding. It looks like a dessert that you... Looks like it's mayonnaise. Was that, that is, look at the level of mayonnaise on that. Like 30% mayonnaise. Push the mayonnaise <laughs> button a bit more. I was not wrong, it is literally 30% mayonnaise on top and then 70% mackerel. It literally says that. <laughs> okay. No need to butter because it's liquid. Mmm. <laughs> when you mix it together, it looks very interesting. Pretty good. I'm very, very surprised. That was actually rather tasty. That is not bad at all. That's pretty good. I put that in the sort of slalser end, actually. It's on more on the, yeah, on the other side of the bridge. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> and the final rubrol tasting shall be with... <laughs> Controversial. Creamy mayonnaise. Uh, pickled with red beets in squares. I mean, when I think of <laughs> I do think of creamy mayonnaise yeah. and cubed red onion. It looks weird. <laughs> it looks like it's come straight from some sort of nuclear power plant. It's a bit weird. I wouldn't eat this voluntarily. <laughs> I wouldn't choose to eat this. I mean, if you really like rule bell, this is for you. It just tastes like taking big bites out of rule bell and then drinking mayonnaise on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah. I don't know. I think this is somewhere terrible, like Solbia or something. <laughs> Towards. I don't know anywhere where that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how crazy my geography is getting. That's like. South of Aarhus. Oh, okay. No. The last thing we're doing today is, uh, it's sort of in the Rubel family. Rubel? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, oh, have I heard about it? Yeah, I heard about it. It's very mystical. Yeah, have you tried it? No, never, no. Mm. All right, there you go. Ooh, it's like a little pudding. Sort made of. With, and it's made with rubro? It's made with rubro, yeah. And, and, and then there's uh, whipped cream on top of it. Ooh, that sounds really good. And beer. I'm not sure actually, like maybe we should look that up. Okay, all the rules. Let's give it a go. It looks really good. Oh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> really tastes like bread. <laughs> it tastes like if, if you tried to make a really healthy dessert, <laughs> to try and be healthy, like, oh, yeah. This is really good, you know? <laughs> Save mine for later. <laughs> it's a bit weird. It's, it tastes exactly like you just blended rubble and then you started squirting it into your own mouth. I would, you know, it's kind of, it's a mix, because it is definitely close to the banners end of the scale, but it's kind of still classy. So I'm thinking more like a Risco in Aarhus, that kind of like middle, middle area. So it's all Fancy terrible. <laughs> Someone was sweeping the floors. But the Lauke who certain was like, we can use this. <laughs> so this is how an alcoholic keeps up. <laughs> Not an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm just mixing bread and beer and eating it for breakfast, okay? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, I'm warming up to it though. Thank you so much, Denmark, for another delicious space bowling. I'm back on tour with Hoogalicious 2022. It's going to be absolutely skill the show. Jump on the website and grab your ticket.